Okay, so... If you're not all caught up, here's what happened in the game so far. Amaranth is... Kind of an ass. And that's it! You're all caught up. We learned kind of why Zidane has a tail. Hang on, I gotta get the compressor, or rather the limiter up. Alright. And, um... Yeah, Queena is hungry, hungry, yummy, yummy in my tummy, tummy. Echo is just, yeah, weirded out by everything. And Rat Lady had no development for the past 20 hours of gameplay or more. Oh yeah, and Echo called someone a bimbo. So... Yeah, um, Garnet's real name is, is not Dagger, or Knife, or Squall, or Cloud. It's actually, um, Sarah. I'm looking for Sarah Connor. I am making the 10th Terminator movie. It's weird seeing Arnold at 70 on Twitter promoting Terminator. You are ready for Judgment Day? The day after Judgment Day? It's like, dude... You know what? Sure, why not, Arnold? I'm ready. Okay, so here's what I need to do today. I need to find Ozma. I may need help from chat. I will need help from chat. One, I want to do Magnet. Two, I want to do Ozma. And then I want to get everyone ready for the final dungeon and save in there, so that the next stream I could just do all of that in one stream. Um, but does anyone have any information on where I go for the fr friendlies enemies? Benny, with your current stats, you may not be able to beat Ozma. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Um, Black Mage Village next. Benny, please fight the friendly Yen. I've done minimal grinding in this game. Just a little bit. It's not my favorite thing to do on stream, for both myself and the audience's sake. There's gonna be some, like, scummy-looking enemies in this forest, though. The friendly yeti is between Burmesia and Gizmaluk's ca cave. The friendly yen is actually more powerful than Ozma. Yeah, I learned about that. Do you get anything good for defeating the friendly yen? Or you just... cried an accomplishment? Bragging rights? Yeah. Vinny, please find Rem Lazar. I'm not sick of Rem Lazar yet. But I know many of you are. I'll tell you what. People found Rem Lazar. I'm going to show you something that will make you think of Rem Lazar in a totally different light. And it, it may ruin Rem Lazar for you. I know. How could such a thing happen? He's a beautiful, perfect being. But, see, Rem Lazar was a little hard on luck after a little while there and um, needed some money. 
So Rem Lazar took a job. And, well, it's very disappointing, but he sold Snickers. Can I help you enjoy that Snickers? From within you. peanut soul over chocolate covered mountaintops and waterfalls of caramel. Prancing nougat in the meadow sings a song of satisfaction to the world. The world. That's right. That was 10 years ago. That was. 13 years ago. So what you've just seen was Rem Lazar, like 15 years after Rem Lazar, but th he aged another 13 years since then. That's him. That's the actor. I feel really bad for the guy because he seems like he's got big dreams, you know, and he can dream it and he can do it and see it. But he just didn't get his big break. Something really sad about that. He's on some TV show now. He's playing an FBI agent in a movie coming out this year called Mega Balls. What do you mean, Mega Balls? Thank you for delivering mail from Atla. We haven't re been receiving mails because the machine in Magnet Central broke down. I wonder how we can fix it, Koopa. Do you think there's a special item that will fix the machine? A special item? Maybe it's... I think you're I'm close to solving the mystery of Magnet. Go to Kumul. The show is called Blue Bloods. I've, I'm aware of Blue Bloods. Isn't, um... Who's in that damn show? There's a, a like, semi-famous actor in that show. It's a, it's a cop show. Tom Selleck, yeah. Mustache rides. Vinny, are you kidding? He's still on TV and singing and stuff. I half expected you, you to tell me that he was under a bridge doing the $10 a man thing. No, that's Adam Egret jacking off punks under the Queensboro Bridge. Every time I'm in the city, like yesterday, I'm in the city, right? Yesterday, I'm in Manhattan. I'm, I'm, um... Wow, that sucked. <laughs> Yesterday, I'm in the city, I'm driving Jeff uh, Vigibum to his car. And, you know, we're, we're done with King Gizzard, we had a good time. And we pass the sign that says, This way to the Queensboro Bridge. And in my mind, it's just Norm MacDonald talking about how Adam Egret is jacking off punks for 10 bucks a man under the bridge. And I'm like, you fucking, you old chunk of coal, what are you doing to me? Every time. Every fucking time. Rem Lazar was Frank and Porky's? Yo, this dude is actually like... I thought he was just that one... Here... okay. Based on the Red Letter Media video, and based on what that Rem Lazar shit was, I thought he was just some dude who had a lot of money, like a Tommy Wiseau, in the late 80s, and wanted to be on his own TV show, so he filmed an hour-long pilot, two episodes, and he shipped it around and it failed. And I thought he just disappeared, and he was not doing anything else with his life. That's what I figured that was. So finding out he had a career before and after Rem Lazar is kind of strange. 74 actor credits? Good for him. Good for him. Okay, where's the next Mog? I 
How did you like King Gizzard? Yes. Next one is at Ibsen's Castle. Did you watch the new Mecha Gamezilla video? Nope, not yet. Didn't know about it. Jabberwock is an Oliver in the forests. Okay. Near Olivart in the forests. God, I was kind of hoping I never had to come back here. Kumul. A letter. I heard that the machine in Magnet Central. Um. Hang on. Okay, I need Queen up next. Magnet Central broke down. It's because they're missing that item. I wonder where you can find one, Koopo. It's a rare item, so I don't think you'll find one very easily. The item. Oh. I have a favor to ask, Koopo. Deliver a letter to. Nazna. No. To Mo. Mo. Moise. So next is oil, oil of. Wow. Jack Mulcahy thanked me. I think that's what he said. Rem Blizzar thanked me on Twitter. He literally just thanked... So, okay. Okay, he made a tweet. Uh, this is really weird. So, it's Jack M-U-L-K-C-A-H-Y, sorry. And he's on Twitter. He's only got like a couple hundred followers. Um, and someone said Rem Lazar 2020. He posted a picture of of himself as Rem Lazar smiling, and then someone wrote, Lafacet Crow wrote, "You can thank Vinnie Vine Sauce for rubbing that golden oldie in his audience's faces." Got that even higher song stuck in my head for a whole week. So he wrote, "Ha, ah, lots of catchy tunes. Thanks, Vinny." I I was I was just thanked by Rem Lazar. Now I can the meme can die. I'm gonna link to his Twitter. You should follow him. But don't meme him, you know, just just be cool. Like, just be a fan. Just be nice. But uh, you should follow him. I posted it in chat if you want to just throw him. Get his numbers to a thousand tonight. Make him feel good. Take him even higher. But do not meme. No need to meme. Just just throw him a couple followers. He deserves it. He's a nice dude, I think. Ah, friendly monster. That dude was right. Isn't that nice? You just got him up to 735 followers. <laughs> Oh, be- oh. oh, shit. Um... I- chat, I wasn't paying attention. I, the question went too fast. Um... The question was, uh, do you wear Vicks, Mr. Woods? No.
Oh god, all of Rem Lazar's tweets are politics. Uh. Alright, um... False. Correct! He's a congressman now. Wow, I didn't know that. Look at that. That dude has had a career. Whether or not you like his politics or you like him, you have to admit, lots of acting roles really took off with, like, his bit parts, but he had a lot of them. And then he became a fucking congressman. That's a career. May not be your career, or my career, far from it, but, I mean... You know, good for him, I guess. He's a congressman in, in New York. He's not a congressman, he's on the board of Screen Actors Guild. Oh, okay. Alright, it's a little bit of misinformation there, but... It's fine. Politician isn't too different from a Twitch streamer. Sorry, chat. Now let me tell you how to live your life. Here, let me let me be a politician for a minute. We choose to go to the moon and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because I am hard. Roof. Can I enter Fossil Roof from this area, or do I have to go to the Mist Continent? Oh, Fossil Roof. Oh, oh, I know what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, that's... Yeah. I gotta go in through the other way, I guess. This is now just Final Fantasy IX faffing about the stream. God. Oh god, just just find the place, Vinny. What Wait, it's it's Fossil Rue? Cause isn't Fossil Rue over here? Oh right, 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 it's Q's Marsh. Sorry, it's just too much stimulus tonight. Like the, the stimuli has been off the fucking charts. Everything's happening all at once, sorry. I'll get my shit together. Just give me a minute. Oh, I gotta get Queen in the party. Right, there's the yummy frogs, right? We really haven't even did that. I mean, at this point, you can catch frogs if you want, dude, but I mean, we're not really doing anything with them. I think, what do you get from this? Like, Queen is ultimate fork? You get good music. Need that yummy golden frog. 
Frog drop does more damage the more frogs you catch. Frog and Chrono Trigger. What did Frog Drop do there? Was like the less HP the enemy had, the more damage it would do? I forget. The like Frog Squash. The less HP Frog has. Alright. Bistro Fork. Yummy frog, fuck! Ugh, not worth it. I don't even care anymore. It's a good fork. It is a good fork, I will say that. Beep! Beep! Bop! 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 Up. I hope that compressor is working. Oh, okay. So I don't need to go into the place. I understand, Koopo. Magnet will function again once we have some. I think Moa would know. Moa? Koopo, where's that item? We need it to repair Magnet. They gotta tell me more than that item, Koopo. Um, Nagi. Alright. Uh, chat, where's this next Moogle? Oh yeah, it's, it's been blocked off. Daguerro is next. Also, where's the friendly, um, monster next? Was that the Bramecia? One? In the forest between Bramecia and Clara? It's blocked by a tiny pile of rocks. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, can't climb over there. Not that Zidane doesn't do, like, death-defying leaps. Gee, I don't remember the last friendly monster I got. I don't. I, chat knows my streams better than I do. But, um... No, I've seen Zidane do all kinds of wacky acrobatics using his tail for balance. I've seen Zidane rescue Garnet in, in ways that people would be like, wait a minute, how are you able to do that? But, I mean, there's a little bit of rocks. It's a little rocks. You didn't meet Jabberwock in Oilivert, you met the quiz monster instead. Oh. Vinny, have you been watching TGS? I heard we might be getting a new Resident Evil. I saw a potential leaked screenshot. And it appears that the Resident Evil... ...could be like a co-op Left 4 Dead type game. Which, I don't know, I mean, that's never been my interest when it comes to Capcom and Resident Evil. Like, I've missed all those games. Any of the games like that, Outbreak and all that stuff, it's not really been my thing. However, I feel like Capcom is on a roll at the moment, and I love what they're putting out. So, anything they're doing with Resident Evil right now, I am immediately interested. So, benefit of the doubt will be given. I think Magnet can go back to standard operation if we get the right item. Koopo, if you ask me, I think the item they're looking for is that thing. You know what I mean, right? It's that thing. That thing. Oh, I know, Koopo, Koopo. Why not just tell me? Deliver a letter to Koopo. Well, fucking, where's Koopo now? Alexandria?
Anthony, are you gonna try Iceborne when it comes out? I've said before, I think I'm still a little bit monster hunted out. Um... And I don't want to play the PS4 version of Monster Hunter anymore, which is where all my progress is. I'm just gonna wait until the next Monster Hunter, whatever that may be. It's funny, because when Monster Hunter World came out, it was like the best game I had ever played. And I couldn't stop fucking playing it, and I loved every moment of it. And I was addicted hopelessly. And then, Slay the Spire came out. And little by little, I stopped playing Monster Hunter. And I started playing Bappy Card Game. Yeah, there's the dice game, Dicey Dungeons. Is, um, is a game I have my eye on. I'm afraid to play Dicey Dungeons because I might get lost to it. Icy Dungeons is okay, but not nearly as deep. I'm afraid the content doesn't last like Slay the Spire does. Well, then that's, that's a good thing. That means that I can maybe check it out and not uh, worry about it as much. Because Slay the Spire just took over my life for a little while there. And I like to get stuff done. Like, Dragon Quest Builders 2, as much as I love that game, I also kind of resent it. Because it just took over my life. Why does the music sound like an old VHS? That's Twitch. Twitch's encoding is weird. I don't know. Something's been happening for a lot of people lately. Is this the forest with the friendly enemy? Go to the forest east of... Okay. Vinny, did you hear that the poster for Star Wars used a fucking Palpatine figurine? No. No. Oh, it did. Oh. The wrinkles are the same on the eyebrows. The, oh. Well, there was some editing work here, but it just still looks like he's sniffing farts. Then there was the woman that won a Toyota from a radio show during the time uh, Phantom Menace was about released. And she ended up getting sent an actual, like, not a Toyota car, but like a Toyota toy figurine. Yeah. circle No, nah, I'm definitely not fighting Ozma for sure. No way. No way, yummy yummies. No way.
Feather Circle in Lost Continent. Nice, Lord Vader! Near Estogaza. Is Ozma a giant marble? Yes. Ozma is the best giant marble. It's funny how most Final Fantasy games have these really tough super bosses that look amazing. And they're they're all like really elaborately designed. And this game has just a giant space marble. Steinman. He's doing all right over there. I love when the, the music activates the limiter because Square's mixing in this game is fucking terrible on the PC version. That is just, it's still 40 hours in, I can't help but notice it and it makes me upset, but that's okay. Alright, um, I need to do one more thing, I think, right? What was the last thing I need to do in the menu? It was equip. It was equip. Um. What was the half MP? Oh, half MP is equipped already. Auto life, auto haste. Man, Vivi is just, like, unstoppable right now. Vinny, is there anything we could do to convince you to play Final Fantasy XIV? Like, things that you, like, everyone can do? Not everyone shares that opinion, though. <laughs> God damn it. No. No, I'm good. I don't- I don't really want to play any more MMOs right now. No MMOs for Vinny. What can we do to convince you to play DMC2? Donate to the charity stream last month. Oh wait, you did! Um, also, I don't know if I should mention this. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you should listen to Macaulay Culkin's newest podcast. That's all I'm gonna say. That guy from Red Letter Media? Yep. That's him. Wait, why are we auto-fighting? What's happening here? I don't want to do auto- Oh, I see. I pressed the wrong button. Vive is like, nope, you can't kill me. Feather Circle will appear in the snowfields, not the forest. Thank you.
Good, good, wow, good timing, Steiner. These enemies were in Terra not that long ago. Oh, that is a noise and a half. Boy, do I love that noise. Not a lot going on in the ice continent in this game. Final Fantasy VII had way more ice continent content. Content in it. Friendly. Friendly monster. Moonstone. Vinny, did you hear about the Jersey Devil coaster coming to Six Flags next year? Yes! It's the world's largest, tallest single rail coaster. Have you met Garuda? I love that they're calling their coaster the, Jer the Jersey Devil. That is a perfect... It's perfect. Above Gizma Luke's Grotto. Yeah, I was wondering when they were gonna do a new legit coaster at Six Flags because they haven't in a while. The one near me. They put up this shitty Joker ride. It's not that shitty, but it's just like um a stationary thing that spins you around and makes you nauseous. It wasn't like a, a legit rail coaster. Allow me to introduce you to the new Joker! Is it in a forest, or...? Joker was a gimmick to ride to hold us over until Jersey Devil. Yeah, the monster- it, this dragon's finally back. Now I can fight them, finally. That was like insta-death dragon. Only three months ago. Yeah, I'm sorry again about the loudness, because if, if I make the limiter... If the limiter is too high, then the music starts to get, like, fucky. Someone earlier said, Vinny, why are you so obsessed with Six Flags? Why well, didn't even go this year? Like, I, I didn't go at all this year. But I, um, I just, I don't know, I like roller coasters. I like feeling like, like I'm going to die. But then I don't die. That's cool. That's why we go to amusement parks. I, I like that the, the visuals for this. It kind of looks like, um, like something out of Planet Coaster, but maybe even a little worse.
But yeah, this is the new coaster. It doesn't look that crazy, I'll be honest. It looks good, but it doesn't look crazier than some of the shit they already have. It just looks fun. Someone also said, Vinny, is it just me, or are you more depressing lately? I guess you didn't watch my stream six years ago. Yeah, the CG is not that good. Where'd the music go? The fuck? Um... The fuck? It's not muted. That was weird. Live VOD muting? Oh, it was claimed by, um, Latin Autor, I believe. Yeah, they claimed it live while I was streaming. They own that song, don't you know? Gotta exit the fucking game and load back in. Weird. Um, Vinny, the reason the coaster render looks so bad is because it's probably made in this program called No Limits 2, which is like Planet Coaster, but budget parks use it to design, to design coasters, and it looks slightly worse. I mean, you get the idea. You, you can see what the coaster's gonna be. It doesn't need to look amazing if it's gonna save them money, but... I get it. Yo, why is the volume nuked? Did I press? Did I press something? Vinny, did you use the mouse wheel recently? No. I just closed the limiter. Limiter's off. Chat, do you hear any? You don't hear anything, right? Can you hear this? You just hear me? This is a brand new problem. It's not an exploit issue, as far as I can tell. Check your default audio device. Yeah, but people can usually hear the default audio device. There's nothing, there's no volume in the mixer. The default audio device is fine. I'm going to play a YouTube video real quick. Tell me if you hear this. Or hear even better. Um, wow, showing that video just fucked my stream. That is very interesting. I don't even hear this. Wow, I just played you're, you're Wrong Mario and nothing's happening. I'm playing Jonathan Frakes. It's not even playing. It won't even play. Chat, it won't even play. But you can still hear me. This is really very strange. I will be back. I have to restart my computer. Uh, stick around, I guess. This is a first. This is a brand new problem. Thanks, Jersey Devil. Seems okay now.
computers are fun. I don't know what the hell even happened. All right, I don't even... <sighs> Whatever, I'm back, hi. Sorry for the inconvenience, everybody. It's not like I was doing anything overly important in this game anyway. Um, but I'm losing viewers, bro. Um, okay, where was- I? oh, 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 this isn't- this is the wrong place, isn't it? Vinny, I don't know if you saved correctly. No, no, there was a, another save file, you're right, I was in the spot that I needed to be at. You hit continue instead of load game. You, usually that's what you do. God, what a mess this stream is tonight. And again, it's an early stream. Poopo height. I will be fast forwarding through some of this because we're just looking for a friendly monster. That little continue fucked up feature fucked up your Moogle mail quest? No. Vinny the Limiter? Oh, it's on. Trust me when I say it's on. It's just... It, I needed a better one. And I didn't ever get a better one. <sighs> so, it doesn't seem to be over here. Vinny, how are you fast-forwarding on your totally legit gaming console? So this is the PC version, smartass. <laughs> and Square implements fast-forward in their games these days. I've been waiting for months to do that. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you for giving me that opportunity. I appreciate it. Paid chat member. Forest in Popos Heights. This is, I believe, a forest in Popos Heights. Um, the East Forest. And he keep trying, I swear it's there.
I'll unplug my controller, replug, because now we're getting double inputs again. Very fun. That's kind of fun! My friend Bill went to go see last podcast on the left in Atlantic City, and he was telling me that Ben Kissel looked rather unhealthy. I was like, oh, oh, I guess... Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful what you eat. When you're on a UFO show. I was like, yeah, Bill, I don't know, man, if he's right, is he, re what do you mean he's unhealthy? He looked disheveled. That was more his thing. Apparently he looked very disheveled, and apparently he might have been on a drinking bender, because they like to gamble and party. That's what Bill told me. Now, is there any truth to that? I don't know, I wasn't there. But I do know this, there are all-you-can-eat buffets in Atlantic City, and I love me some all-you-can-eat buffets. Fuck, I need a buffet in my life. It's been years, but I'm also watching my diet a little bit, so... Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit. They talked about Atlantic City on the last side stories, oh, I gotta listen to that. Uh, Ross, isn't there a Yeti that I have to do? Vinny, but buffet food is usually trash quality. I know! That's what makes it so good! I like when they make you hibachi steak on the spot. Friendly Yeti that's near Medane, sorry. Okay. The Borgata Buffet is amazing. I've only been to the Borgata a couple times. I don't really like it there very much. I, I like the Hard Rock. Uh, I would very much not like to be in Atlantic City anytime soon. Because that place just, right now, I'm, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. At all. But... Yeah, the Borgata is not my thing. It's just too Vegas. It's too, like... Fist pump. What am I even doing? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like a fist pump place. Uh, I like the Hard Rock quite a bit. But I don't know if they... Look, when I was there last, they didn't have a buffet. I don't think it was open yet. Isn't Atlantic City a budget Vegas? Yeah. Don't go to Harrah's. It's even more Vegas. Oh, I've been to Harrah's. My friend had a birthday party there years ago. And we stayed at Harrah's, and then we took an Uber, or it was a cab. It wasn't an Uber at the time. It was like 10 years ago. Um, to the Borgata. So it was just bro, and then bro, 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 bro. And then when we got back to the hotel, it was bro. That's why I like the Hard Rock. Hard Rock's got good bands. It's chill. is going to become the penitent one now from Blasphemous. Your dad plays the hard rock? Was he, like, cover band? Or what does he do? Eighties cover band. He loves Rush. That's cool. Good for him. 
living his dream, huh? I can't imagine playing Rush covers is easy. That is not an easy band to emulate, but people try to do it anyway, and it's usually very painful. Drummer? Wait, so your dad is playing Neil Pert's parts? Neil Pert's Pert's part parts? Kinda wanna go watch your dad in Atlantic City now. How about this? You tell me where the best buffet is. I'll go watch your dad's cover band. We'll call it a day. Damn. So it's one of these forests? Okay, do they do Tom Petty? Do they do the police? Either of those two. Do they do either of those two? Yes to both? I'm about to go watch some dude's father's cover band. Um, well, if they do talking heads, then I'm there. <laughs> that fucking burp. <laughs> oh, this monster sucks. a chance to level up your skill magic, learn a healer for your endgame stuff. Yeah, it's true. Are we sure this is the correct forest? We have that information? Has, have I been furnished with that information yet? I couldn't tell, because I was talking to some dude about his dad. Someone said yes. You're the, oh, I am in the right spot, okay. Get as many characters as possible to learn auto-reflect. Teach Reflect Null to your healers. Your team can be healed while still reflecting enemy spells.
Yeah, I know. Sorry if the side quests aren't the most interesting thing in the game, but it's been heavily requested, and I figure I'm this close to doing it. I may as well just fucking do it at this point. Vinny, on the topic of dads, my dad really loves Red Vox. Yep, that's who I'm making it for. Okay, so I needed auto regen. Um, what was the other one? Wait, let's see who's got that. Auto regen, restore HP, long reach. I think Zidane's all good. Steiner's good. Life consequences. Vinny, just wondering, do you love your job? It's a simple but often interesting question I ask myself. I love my jobs. I have I, at this point, I'd say I have several, and I love I love them very much. Vinny, can you stop making those disgusting sneeze noises? When you gotta sneeze, you gotta sneeze. I don't know what you want me to do. Do you want me to, like, stop breathing? Vinny, I have two job interviews tomorrow. Can you give me a confidence boost? Wish me luck. Here's the thing. Like in Beetlejuice, when Beetlejuice is like, if I, you know, if I tell you, then you tell your friends, you give them French, 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 French. You know what I mean? So I can't really do that. But I can tell you this. Beetlejuice seems to be the fashion these days. I've seen several people wearing Beetlejuice stripes on the street lately. Like, that's just what they're wearing. Like, their pants are Beetlejuice stripes. And it's been real weird. So I hope that helps with your confidence. This does not seem like the right forest. I just fucking ate my words. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Every time I question the forest I'm in. did like a good timing moment there. It's kind of cool. A 
after this, all he needs is the yen. Yen is on Vile Island. Alright. Where's Vile Island? are the hardest wild monsters in the game, so watch out, okay? Be careful near this goddamn tree. Is this Vile Island? Too Vile Island? Or no? Yeah, it is. Alright, well, let me save my game here, because this, this could get real ugly. If you opt to fight the friendly Yen instead of appease it, it turns into a super boss harder than Ozma. It's farmable? Oh shit, you can actually do that more than once? It's weird, because, you know, I've played this game several times, I thought I knew most things about it, had no idea about that. It'll appear again and you can just keep doing it. Well, here's the Yen. Um, give me a diamond? How about this? How about I give you a flare? Super boss, by the way. Holy shit! Give me a diamond, it says. I can't even hit it! I am God, come on, you know. Holy shit. I wouldn't even know how to do that. Great. That was amazing. Uh, 65,000 HP, huh? Good. No, very good. I, I can't believe that this the most difficult boss in this game is both a marble and a little sheep. Alright, let's do it. Did you load the right save? Nope. That continue is real good. Sorry, I was a little distracted. I was reading the chat about Yan and stuff. It's just amazing. 65,000 HP with 255 in both defense and evade, both physical and magical. Maximum, basically. I wonder how many times that continue function... Someone earlier was saying that the continue function fucked my mail up in the game. Like, that's the reason why I missed, um... 
the the letters because I was loading up like I was continuing and not loading. That's why you were missing the Moogle on the red rose. Awesome. Thank you, Square Enix. you can reach the round guy. <laughs> I got a, a little achievement there. <laughs> Rosetta ring, huh? Um, I can reach the round guy. If you beat Ozma first, Yen will comment on it. Fight more Yen? No! Put Robe of Lords on Aiko if you can. I already didn't get some stuff I needed for Echo. What if you fight like regular Yans? That's not so bad, right? I mean, I can kill these. Oh god, I can't kill these. Nice, nice miss. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm using the best stuff I have right now. Go, Steinman. Steinman, go! All right, goodbye, Vivi. That's it. He's not in the game anymore, guys. That's he's just done. He's just out of the video game. He doesn't like. He's not in the ending. Good. Oh, okay. Zidane's dead. <laughs> Holy shit! Run! No, run, run! <laughs> I got another one. Only one left. Aiko, you can do it. It's so weird, I know, but you can do it. Oh, that's fucked. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's amazing. Phoenix procs randomly sometimes. Depends on how many pinions you have. Pinyats? Oh, it's based on Pinyat. Oh my god. Oh god, oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! No, 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 no!
After all that, that whole fucking battle could have been a highlight. Holy shit. This continue worked. I'm so used to pressing continue. It's just awful at this point. Oh, fuck. Fuck, no. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, God. I'm, like, being conditioned to be afraid of these little things. Controller! Controller, please! Why did you go back? I don't think I saved. I don't think I saved after I, I got the, uh, the gave the, the diamond to the end. So I have to do this again. Give me a second, guys. All right. That was a little weird. I just needed a I just needed a minute. You know what would be a travesty if I add a so weird emote after I'm done with Final Fantasy 9? Oh yeah, no, this stream has zero story. There is no plot progression in this stream, and th that's exactly what I was expecting. I mean, it, it is a good thing, it's useful. The word weird is useful. If it's done well, I, it was that one Echo image that someone drew for the Buru that I really wanted an emote form, even though I got several other Vine Weird submissions. But they were never the right ones for me. They were cool, but... Oh, come on! Get off it! Look how long it takes to just get out of a fight with these things. These enemies are vulnerable to insta-death skills. Oh man. I'm not even gonna heal them, fuck it. I just need to... Oh, you know what I do need to do? To get some of that experience. Let me get... The light robe. Rubber suit. Yes, there's rubber suits in this game. Rubber suit is what you want to wear when you go out into a thunderstorm. Or if you need to get the game. Why is there always three of them? Why, why does my life have to be this difficult? I like how... I had amazing luck the first time I attempted this. 
Also, if the sooner I can get off this island, the happier I will be. That was a huge waste of time. Flat out just learned auto life, no problem. And most of these skills too, great. And arpeggios sound very nice. And I'm gone. Okay, uh, Magnet. Let's finish Magnet. We'll go to Alexandria, and then I'm going to attempt Ozma. It's going to be a shit show, but I'll give it a shot. It's... I wasn't going to do Ozma, but people have requested Ozma. And it's a real big pain in the ass of a fight. Someone said this should be my final party. Um, it's a very balanced party. Yeah, well, you got Aiko for healing. I mean, I wish Ratto was a part of this party, but Ratto doesn't have good healing. Just a little bit of healing, not much. Do Osmog? It's a round Moogle. It's just a giant round Moogle. Get Absorb Shadow? Okay, I'll try. It's like a little Moogle convention over here. A letter from Nagi. I know now what's needed to run the machine in Magnet Central. It's super slick. I heard a rumor about it. The rumor says that someone in Alexandria has it. That's what I heard, Koopo. Find it and send it to Central right away. Ah, super slick, Koopo, but I don't know who has any. L lube? Here's a theory for anyone to coin. Fat Chocobo is cloud theory. Huh? Oh, I mean, yes! That makes perfect sense. Thanks, buddy. I'll sell you stuff again when I get more. Oh, I wanted to do something for you, because you always buy stuff from me. Oh, thanks. Traveling the world has taught me how little I know. It's a nice thing. I've already got several ribbons, but that's 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 fine. Well, fry my hide. How'd you know I use this here super slick in my hair? You want to try some? How come you be a needin' it? <laughs> you want to be beautiful like me? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? No? Well, I'll get my folks to send me some more. You can have this one. You ain't gonna give it to some girl as a gift, are you? I do declare that Lowell's too big for his britches. I don't... That's how she's written. I mean, that's my southern voice. It's... 
It's infuriating, I know. Using the super slick, Zidane gives it. Re really gives it. Vinny, your southern accent bothers me as an Arkansan for some reason. Well, live in a real state that is a real word, and then maybe we'll talk. Arkansas isn't real. <laughs> my English accent annoys English people. My Scottish accent annoys Scottish people. My New York accent annoys people who are from New York because it's not thick enough. My bagel annoys the squaggle. I mean, I'm just used to it by now. It's fine. My Leno accent annoys everyone. But yeah, the Arkansas thing is funny because that's a real thing I heard it, I've heard i heard in my life. Where someone saw it in Arkansas. It was someone who didn't uh, grow up in the U.S. They weren't born here. It was someone I went to college with and she saw a license plate saying, Arkansas, that's not even real. I don't even... I, I know about Kansas, but what about... What's Arkansas? And, um... So yeah, that, that's a story I've told several times on stream. It's one of my favorites. Your Stellatio duck accent is right on, though. You don't want to hear more of that, do you? Can you do a West Coast accent? No. Telenor. Do you know where I could get some avocados? Someone just called me Becky Bind Sauce. Okay, let me just alienate all of my audience now. What's next? only we had that item. I have your item. Hey, you brought some super slick. W will you give it to me? Thanks. With this oil... Thanks. I'll give you this in return. It's a protect ring? I was so happy because my coat became so soft, but I took everyone's fun away. I'm sorry. Everything is okay now. No, you took people's jobs away. Those were their jobs! Oh, this is fine. Viv is using it right now, in fact. It's a good ring. Magnet can resume operation again, Koopo. Thanks for delivering 18 letters. Yeah, I could have done more if the continue feature wasn't stupid. Look at them work. Hey, it's starting up again. Are you going to do the secret quest that nobody knew about for years? What? What do you mean? Also, now would be a good time to get equipped for Ozma, I guess. I think I might have heard about this. Is this real? You should equip shadow absorbing equipment like Ninja Gear, Demon Mail, Pumice, or Pumice Peace. Go to Memoria, fight boss, go to Lindblom hideout, rinse, repeat nine times. That sounds awful. It's just an NPC thing. 
the Arrow Brothers? Oh, the Z Zanero, the Zabero, Zabaro Brothers? So, wait, 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 wait. Ninja Gear just pretty much absorbs it. So, who should I give this to? The healer, perhaps? I think... Can... Can Eiko wear that? Eiko, are you old enough to wear that? She can't wear it. How the hell is she going to fit? She can't be a goth yet. No. She's small. So dang big. Alright. Well, let me at least level this up. I want to get Aiko's half MP use thing. These dragons will do the trick. Or these horrendous things that destroy my party in one hit. That's fine, I guess. You just noticed Aiko's little wings now? Really? When she hits trance mode, she has big wings. I gotta say that, that Eric dude in Dragon Quest XI is really growing on me. I may not be very far in that game, but I, I really like him. The other party members are even better? Yeah, I... Have you figured out the accent? It's Boss Thinglin. Boss Thinglish in Nonian. I've heard Silvando is a character that people seem to like quite a bit, and uh, people were telling me I would enjoy Silvando. I like the main protagonist, too. The main protagonist, I mean, it's a blank slate for you. Um, Silvando seems cool, um, but I like the design of the main character. He's just got a cool, like, um, vibe. And I also, I, you know, I tend to like characters that wield the sword and shield. You like Trunks too? Yeah, Trunks is alright. Yeah, I like his outfit. I don't know why, I think it's just kind of cool. That's one of the reasons I was thinking about streaming Smash again tonight. But I do have to be up early tomorrow, so I'm... The stream is going to be slightly truncated, but not- not by much. What time did I start? I started around... 9.40? So 9.40... So that would mean like 1.40, about 1, 1.30 I'll probably end the stream. So it's like a 3 hour, 50 minute stream. Um... If I manage to defeat Ozma shortly, then I will maybe save and play a little bit of Smash, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. If not, I want to give Smash a full good stream soon because I miss it, and also I want to now play uh, as Hero now that I know who he is. Alright. 
So, brave suit. We're gonna get ninja. On... the dang a ding dong Uh... What else? This absorbs shadow. Alright. Viv. Um, shadow reduced by 50, that's fine. Unless we have pumice. Hang on a minute. We got pumice. Peace! Absorbs that entirely. That seems better. Protect ring halves all elemental damage. Vinny, are you fighting Ozma? That's the idea! <laughs> Seem to me... You are the expert! Vinny, the lore for Ozma is cool. Speculated to be an Eidolon that the summoners failed to tame, and its form has become lost due to faith legend that birthed, birthed it being gone. So now it's just a ball of pure Eidolon energy that can't be perceived. That's a really good way to um, be lazy and just put a sphere in the game. That's cool. So where is this motherfucker anyway. Chocobo? Okay. Weirdly enough, Ozma was always like, even though it, it is such a simple design and there's really not much to it, Ozma seems to be a very famous Final Fantasy optional boss at this point, just because of the absurdity of the design and how much of a pain in the ass it can be. <laughs> Gotta find the air garden. can be in a number of places, right? So I have to just find it. Wait, it's here. No, it's the lagoon. It's here. Okay. Someone said, I really don't like how Chocobo theme sounds like royalty-free YouTuber music. <laughs> you mean royalty-free? This is owned by Latin Autor. Don't you understand? But yeah, it does a little bit. I like this version. I like the ukulele. So, not my favorite Chocobo theme, like I said, but it's, it's alright. God, I don't have peppers. Sweet God. You can get 99 peppers up there. get 99 peppers from the paradise. That's, that's the air garden. Where were that where's Chocobo Paradise? How have I How have I forgotten these things? Oh right, it's top left. Yeah.
Terrible memory, man. Just don't remember a goddamn thing. It's like everything is so fucking ephemeral. But that's also, you know, I, I tend to live life like that, just kind of in the moment. Kind of have to. So. It leads to me not remembering lots of very important details. And definitely not remembering lesser important details. Vinny, you need to fly? Oh yeah, I do need to fly. I was gonna go on the water over there. This is Chocobo's Paradise. Living like a wind rammer as you fuck. Give me those peppers. They didn't have pep here last time. Oh, now I got pep. You get the peppers if you get all the choker graphs. That's kind of what I thought. How do they build this place without hands? Stop asking questions. A beak is a very powerful thing. Is it here again? No. Here again. Hey! Welcome to my channel! Remember to smash that like! We're gonna do a Minecraft makeup tutorial. Sponsored by dollarshavecock.clock. Um... Well, we're gonna fight Ozma. Maybe I should save? No. This is such a silly fucking optional boss. It really is. Well, now, chat, you will finally know what all the fuss is about. What's this? Looks like an Eidolon cave. Wait, Koopo. I feel strange presence inside Koopo. Is it bad? I've never felt anything like it, Koopo. It's not of this world, but not like a ghost, either. It feels also otherworldly, Koopo. Also weirdly. Ozma. Ball. And holy. Holy shit. Heal now, too, huh? Would it, would it be even like I'm wondering if stealing would be good? Uh, use reflect tent click cast blind. Oh, uh, don't do that, you fuck.
Oh, that's bad. That is a bad move. If I'm gonna fight, if I'm gonna actually have hopes of defeating this boss, I'm probably gonna have to level up those characters a little bit. Just so they don't get hit by that bullshit. It will waste turns on healing blind. Oh shit, Flare. Oh god, Steinman, please no. Steinman. Steinman's dead! Aiko's dead! Vivi's spinning! Vivi doesn't know what to do! Vinny, Vivi's spin- Vinny, Vinny. You're dead! Why are you casting Meteor? Everyone's dead. You dick. Damn. Okay, well, at least I can continue from here. That's encouraging. I mean, I'll try a couple more times. I'd probably have to grind more, prepare more. I put all this good armor on, and I didn't use it once. Um... Put ribbons on? Ribbons, um, is... Uh, it's things. Alright, okay. Ribbon. Ozma requires a very specific strategy. He can be beat at level one with the right gear and strategy. Okay. Well, why does spiritual power keep getting raised? That's... Alright. Time for full life consequences! It is not good to have two party members that are affected by that. Spam Doomsday with BB? I don't, do I have it? I have to check. Yeah, Flare isn't doing the work. Just don't use Curse, whatever you do. Spiritual power was the payoff for the friendly monsters quest. Got it. Boy, that move fucking sucked. Yeah. Yeah, gonna have to put some ribbons on. that move. Why is Echo so small? <laughs> look at look at its HP. That was fine. Spam Doomsday? Don't have Doomsday. What else would be good? Anything from Vivi? Uh, 
Um, you get Doomsday and Memoria. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. Try Meteor. Oh, good. We're doing that level of damage. That's nice. Uh, what what is the not small thing? Jesus. do a lot more prep work. You're expected to beat Hades before Ozma. Hades has a synthesis shop that preps you for this fight. When you're in Memoria, you can leave Memoria? I didn't know that. Return magic is insanely strong against Ozma. If you use mini from Garnet Echo, Echo on someone, you make them big. Hades is the better option. Well, shit. You have to leave Memoria to do the one side quest that literally went undocumented for a decade, remember? No. Didn't remember that. You just told me that a couple minutes ago. Wow. Interesting that it would be called Memoria when my Memoria isn't exactly... So, that is... terrible. I was thinking I had, like, all this great stuff. It's like, oh man, I'm over-leveled. No, mate. Okay, so, um, Memoria. Where, 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 where? I have to go to Lindblom now, I think. So let's advance the plot, for real, this time. We'll go to Memoria, we'll check out Hades, and then... Next stream will be the stream. tree. But yeah, Lindblom first. Hades isn't until near the end of Memorial- oh shit. Rode that ship, right? I want to ride it too. I think I remember Hades. Yeah, I think I remember it from last time I streamed this game many years ago. Oh, uh, spoiler alert. Vinny, you should just do Smash for the last hour. Considering it...
because I'm not really sure what else there is to do here. I mean, we could go to Memoria for a little bit, we could grind, but the truth is, the end of the game is upon us, and no matter how much of the side stuff I do... What am I doing? This isn't the right way. Um, no matter how much of the side stuff I do, I'm still going to end up beating the game. It's still going to be the same ending. So, we'll see. I can start the Memoria thing now. It's about experiencing the things along the way, too. True, but these things are quite annoying. Some of them. What am I doing in Lindblom, exactly? I think they said I had to go to Lindblom, but now I'm here and nothing's happening. There is nothing specific to do here. Oh, shit. Alright then, never mind. Vinny, you said you needed to go to Lindblom. Oh, that was my fault? I think they said, don't tell Uncle Sid. Which I wanted to- oh, no wonder I wanted to go to Lindblom. I wanted to defy that. And I wanted to tell Uncle Sid exactly what was happening. Also, the ship looks cool. So we got to see the ship. That's a lot to remember about having um, better odds against, against Ozma. I can't even speak. need confusion on Vivi. I think it's kind of irresponsible for them to take Aiko to Memoria. Because, like, this could be a suicide mission. And she's, like, six? And maybe... Maybe don't bring her? Maybe, like, let her grow up? Uh, she is tough. She can summon a Moogle. She can summon a Moogle. Okay, so wind immunity? Wind damage reduced. Absorbs... Okay, so ribbons. Ribbon is very good.
shit. This is like something out of a Vengar. Vinny, why don't your characters pull up Pooja's past tweets? There might be something in there to defeat him. I mean, he is showing a lot of midriff, let's be real. Can't let you guys steal the show by yourselves! Hell yeah. I like this. Uncle Sid! Why? How did he know to show up here? Probably because of Baku. He loves big showdowns. Now let's lose those dragons. They finally figured out how to do it. Now they have a fleet of airships. Oh, that is awesome. It's the Red Rose. General Beatrix, our ship is going to burst! Do not fret, your captain is about to enter Valhalla. You are a Pluto Knight, now act like one. Wait, it's like, well, maybe they don't want to go to Valhalla. <laughs> maybe they want to live! We all know you came along because you were worried and sick about Captain Steiner. Did you say something? Red Rose, could it be? Be Beatrix? Quite a woman you fell in love with. You're one to talk. Wait a minute, Steiner, what did you mean by that? All right, let's bust through. Yeah, she just ran away after that. some decent steals on this. O only Viv took some damage there. anything. We're still- Zidane, we're still having thief problems this far into the game. By now, you should be a master thief. It's, it was mistranslated. This is supposed to be Shinru- Shinryu, a recurring boss in the series. Oh, I didn't know that. Also, bit of an announcement. May as well announce it now. Um, I think, well, not, not really an announcement. Some people already knew about this, but we got Final Fantasy IX Corruptions for the next Corruption stream. They've been just waiting. Moogie has been refining them. For so long. These Corruptions have been in the works for months and months and months, just waiting for me to finish this game. So yeah, they're they're fermented. They're they're very they should be good. I think they'll be good. Just trying to steal as much shit as I can. There's there's a couple decent items on this thing. Damn it, Steiner, you're fucking mental right now, Jesus. Is 
This dragon cannot really hurt me at this point. I say that and then it uses Shockwave, which is going to hurt my party. But not by much. I like when I, um, grab some water to drink while I'm streaming and then I don't drink it. That's my favorite thing to do. And I'm like, why am I not hydrating? Hydrate, you dummy. Vinny, the new Tool album is up. I'll check it out. Again, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not that kind of Tool fan, but I'll check it out. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But soon. Yeah, that's fizzy water. That, that's, um, spicy water that I'm drinking. <laughs> Vinny, did you just crack open... <laughs> did you just crack open a cold water? It's, yeah, no, it's lightly flavored fizzy spicy water, yeah. Grand Armor. So I've been playing very poopily for this fight. Yeah, I mean, the danger was low, so I figured I could get away with just being lazy about it. But I got what I needed. I got the armor. I'm happy. Vinny, did you just kill a police car? <laughs> Are you sure this'll work, Queena? It's no problem. I warp in from outside before. I guess this, this is the only exit anyway. We find some magic. Or same magic field outside when we come back. I warp in when I step into magic field outside. Alright, I guess it's no use worrying. I like that Queena was like the, uh, the test group here. What is this place? What's wrong, Zidane? Did someone just call my name? No. That's weird. Maybe you're just hearing things. I don't think so. Do you hear that? I hear nothing. The Dane, can you hear me? Garland? I am speaking only to you. Garland, what is this place? Memoria. A place of memories. Memories? Yes. Your memory has brought forth this place. Here you shall witness the entire truth. You have no choice. Now go. What are you talking about? Damn. Zidane, what's going on? You all heard me talking, right? It looks like I was the only one who heard him. I was just talking to Garland. He told me that our memories created this place. 
I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I guess we'll just have to move forward. God, could you imagine this without the decrustifying um, AI? This is one of my favorite end areas in Final Fantasy that I'm aware of. I mean, I like the crater with Sephiroth too, but there it wasn't really it wasn't really personal, it was just a crater. It was a Kramer. Um I liked Final Fantasy VIII's area because it was creepy, weird, and had good music. Yeah, Kafka's tower was cool. Grand armor. Just, um, better armor for Steiner. Shadow damage reduced by 50%, that's cool. It's got restore HP. Did- what else did I get from that thing? Restores HP automatically when near death. Vinny, you're creepy, weird, and have good music. Oh shit. This chimera looks suspiciously like the Earthbound, or rather the Mother 3 chimera. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. More so than usual. You can do it. You can do it. Steiner, you got this. These are just regular ass enemies now. Vinny, is this your end game party? I think so. I needed a healer, and Echo's a better healer than Garnet. The Zidane didn't taste good enough, that's why he spit him out. Teach Vivi stronger spells? That's the, that's the best I've got for the time being. Vinny, I've never really had a chance to play any Final Fantasy games, so watching these streams has been a treat. Thank you. Thank you. I really would like to stream more Final Fantasy, but you can tell how big of a time commitment they are for me. You know, 8 I would like to stream, even though there's mixed reception about 8. And uh, 6 would be a really good stream for me to do as well. There's a reason these games are popular, in my opinion. And there's a reason so many people have such a strong emotional attach attachment to them, myself included. Have you ever did the first one? No. No. Uh, my Final Fantasy knowledge is 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. And I'm, I'm okay to keep it there for now. It 
Even though some of my favorite games of all time are JRPGs, it's not my favorite genre of video game. So, I never played X2, no. No, make no mistake, I'm a fan. I love Final Fantasy, but... You know, there's a lot I missed. It's, it's a lot of fucking games. But, I mean, now that I'm playing Dragon Quest, I have people that are like, Vinny, you gotta play 4, 7, 8, 9. And it's like, ah, uh, stop. It's like, please. Also, uh, as for Smash, so obviously Smash isn't happening tonight, but it will happen soon. Probably tomorrow. Vinny, what is the most epic genre in your opinion? The most epic genre is definitely Fortnite. Is that the answer you wanted? That's- that's cool, that's real loud. That's- that's cool, it's the loudest thing ever. your favorite genre? Um, that's a, that's a hard question. I think shoot. Um, I like shoot games a lot. No. I mean, if you think about it, though, some of my favorite games of all time are shoot games, and I just have a lot of fun playing them. Um, so shoot is definitely up there. I like platformers. I think Metroidvania might be my favorite genre. Adventure games like Zelda? Oh god, don't do this to me. Now there's too many to choose from. Okay. I think you've helped me figure out my favorite genre. Action RPGs. Not turn-based, but action RPGs, where you actually, when you press the button, you swing the sword. I mean, that's like a couple of my favorites, and I don't know if I can choose a, like, a number one favorite, because I like variety, and it's difficult to choose, so shoot, um, because Half-Life is shoot, and because Half-Life is very important to me. Then there's Action RPG, because Zelda, and lots of games like Zelda. And then Platformer, because I really enjoy stuff like Donkey Kong, Mario, Etc. Etc. We meet again. I'm one of the Chaos Guardians. Oh, really? Did I miss the lance? There's Kane's lance around here somewhere. One of Final Fantasy 1's Archfiends. Yeah, but why does it have boobs? Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? S it's Snake Britons, why not? At this point, <laughs> don't question it! It's Final Fantasy! Oh, goodbye, Echo. Fuck! Uh, Binya, did you know that Medine equals Maduin, aka Terra's... Yeah, from Final Fantasy VI? Yes. I did know that, yes. I wasn't 100% sure about it, but I... I feel like I had known it. Yes. Hey, guess what? This is the part of the game where you still don't use your elixirs. I'm using my fucking elixirs. Ah, thief. Genji Armor, Ultima Sword, Masamoon. Is that Masamoon... Should I be stealing that? I still don't know how to pronounce that shit. Properly. Masamune? That's how I said it during Chrono Trigger and people made fun of me. My feeling got hurt. Okay, I have to be very careful not to kill now. I have to steal. It's gonna be lots of stealing. Worse than Ultima Weapon? Well, I got it! <laughs> That's good. Do not hurt the boy. Oh, that mustard gas is a real fucking piece of shit. to miss out on the experience, either. Um... I don't think it's worth trying to steal anything else. Man, I needed a full heal for that. Ah, uh, Aiko didn't get the- Ah, oh, you suck. You suck, you snake. You... You trouser snake. The XP was not there anyway, so... I don't feel so bad about that. Yeah, so I'll make a little progress here. I'll try to do... The next stream of Final Fantasy IX will be the final stream. I don't know if I will be able to be uh, defeat Ozma. I'll try. You know, maybe these sick levels that we're getting here will help. 
The Hades uh, fight will definitely help as well. Oh shit, it's Alexandria. Isn't this Alexandria? What is Alexandria Castle doing here? What? What you talk about? I not see anything. Of course you can't see anything. You weren't with us at the time, so it's not in your memory. In his bid to defy me, Kuja tried to acquire Alexander. An incident ten years ago started everything. Oh, nice. Try as I might, my fruit makes no na. I'm so glad you streamed this game. Thank you very much for bringing a piece of childhood back to all of us. Can someone be mean to me, please? What is this? Cool, alright, thanks. No, you're- uh, I, I would very much appreciate... ...bringing, um, these games to people if they enjoy them. Or even if they never played them as a kid. Like, there's definitely still stuff to enjoy here, ten, uh, 20 years later. I'm gonna go back and get that lance, I think. There are some question marks around here you can challenge to card games. That's a little ridiculous, no? Also, Steiner needs auto-haste. I think. Thief sword beneath the clock tower in the field area. Holy shit, it's Tony Stank. Tony Stank is still the, my favorite thing that the MCU has ever brought us. Like I said, comic books, fine, whatever. They're, it's, if the movie's good, it's good. But Tony Stank? I think about that. At least once a month, I think about Tony Stank. And the way Stanley delivered the line, like it's just a stanky delivery too, it's really good. little jut near the exit in this area. There's a weapon for Zidane there. Okay, thank you. Let's see what we can do for Steiner, because he does not have auto-haste, and that is a travesty. Um, I... He... Hmm... Can he even get it? Yeah, he can get it. I just never taught him the fucking thing. This area? I was here. Chat, you saw me over here before, right? That is very strange. The dialogue, or the exclamation mark didn't pop up.
See, her, her wings have grown. Yeah, it might take a minute. Okay. There should be a thing here for Zidane. But, it, oh, oh, it, it's in like... What the fuck? It was in one pixel. The tower. It's worse than Ultima Weapon. Ultima Weapon was a godsend, finding that, and it was almost impossible to find. So no wonder they're giving, you know, shittier stuff, because the, the, the Ultima Weapon is... It's like stupid how hard that shit is to find. Well, Ultima, for those that don't know Final Fantasy well, Ultima is just the name of one of the most powerful spells you can get in most Final Fantasies. I remember in 7, when I got Ultima, I was like, yo! And it just looked like green piss. And I was like, oh, that's a little disappointing. But it's powerful. And it's um, apparently a reference to the Ultima game series, if you remember that. Ultima Online, stuff like that. In Final Fantasy VII, did everyone have an Ultima weapon? Or am I mistaken? It wasn't like everyone's ultimate weapon was made of Ultima. I know Cloud obviously did. They had powerful ones, but they weren't called Ultima. Maybe sick. Cold breath. It's a shame we can't like multicast Isuna. In Final Fantasy VI, a lot of people can equip Ultima Weapon. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. Yeah, maybe. I like how they just got locked out of experience because of their sickness. Down with the sickness! <laughs> that is what he's saying, yes? He's saying naman naman nan. Vinny, never do that voice again. Yeah, tell that to David Draymond. So where's the spear at? Kane's spear. Kane's lance, whatever. 
Hey, Macarena! I, they covered the sound of silence. They could probably cover that, and people would eat it right up. That sound of silence video got millions of views. Someone just said, tough time to be a Vine Sauce fan. <laughs> no, you're, it's great. You get Rem Lazar, Beetlejuice's disgusting cock, and now you're getting Numb and Numb down with the sickness, Numb and Numb Macarena. I think we may have new Rem Lazar information. He says it was a one-off after-school special. I continue to be amazed by how it has been resurrected online. It still resonates. When my popular Snickers commercial popped, most of the comments on YouTube were from people who recognized my voice from Rem Lazar. It's interesting. We've learned many things. Very, very interesting stuff. Like, there's just no indication of where these, these goddamn weapons are. Oh, it's just there. Yeah, have fun finding that. Uh, achievement unlocked. Kane's legacy. Legacy of Kane. Wow, it just hit me. It just hit me that that's what that is. Also, this fight without MP is a kind of a pain in the ass. Um, don't mind me. I'm just being a little lazy at the moment. I'm probably gonna stop the stream in a couple minutes. I hope you don't mind. Again, I have to be up early tomorrow for a fucking checkup. You know, when you get older, you gotta get checked up. And, uh, one of the disadvantages of my fucking nocturnal vampiric uh, sleep schedule is... ...that I... ...have a real hard time... ...getting up for some things that I need to get up early, you know? And... ...the truth is this. I could probably be in bed by... Three in the morning, and it would be no problem. But I just, because my sleep schedule is so late, I end up just laying in bed, staring at the ceiling, forever. So I need like an hour of st uh, ceiling staring, and then I'm good. No, I don't need to have them check inside the ath hole. That's not tomorrow, no. That's when I hit 40. Tomorrow I'm going to get grapefruited. It is good to check, though. I mean, remember, these, these are joking aside about how silly it is to have someone look into your asshole with a flashlight. It's it's probably a good idea. Always good to check for these things. Why are you why are you laughing, chat? I'm not laughing. You're laughing.
figured now would be a good time to stock up on, like, everything. Because I'm, like, running out of stuff, and I'm like, wait a minute, why, if I am this rich in this game, running out of things that I'm clearly going to need? At least some of. Get a nice even number for all of them. What are your thoughts on uh, dentists and wisdom teeth? <laughs> um, I've had three of my wisdom teeth removed, and by the time the third one was removed, I was like, yeah, get it over with. You know, I was like Harrison Ford under the floorboards. It was fine by then. You know, like, the first two times were annoying and it sucked, but the third one, like, I was streaming the same fucking night, I think. Maybe that's why I'm so stupid. No, I didn't have them out at the same time. Well, listen, everybody, thank you again for understanding about the uh, sleep schedule thing. Yesterday, I only streamed one game. Today, I'm streaming a little bit early and ending a little early. But I do appreciate it. Um, I should be around all weekend with some streams. Next time I play this, we'll continue Memoria. We will fight. We will defeat Hades. I will go back to Ozma one time. Attempt to defeat Ozma. I will turn fights off and fast forward through Memoria on the way back. So that way it's just a little faster. But, I, we'll see what happens. Maybe more than one time. Maybe two time. I don't know. What are you streaming tomorrow? Um, Smash for sure. I miss Smash. I want to play some Smash. And I don't know what else. It depends on, on how the night's going, how I'm feeling. Um, but Smash and maybe Builders or Mario Maker. Astral Chain, I'm gonna... I don't know if Astral Chain's gonna be tomorrow. I might wait a day or two before I'd stream Astral Chain, if I do. Stream Dreams? I did yesterday. There was a pretty substantial dream stream yesterday. Alright, now that's the stream. Thank you for watching once again. We're gonna take a look at the art. Uh, if you missed it, I streamed a game called Blasphemous earlier, and it was very good. I want to recommend that demo. It's only available for a couple more days, and it's excellent. Um, I think the game is going to be really great. What is this? What have you done, chat member? Rem Kujar? Yeah, that's what, that's what it is.